Hello and welcome to Age of Empires 2, Casper Adorto version 15, triple tech mod. We are the Mayans and on our team we have got the Saracens, the Celts and the Franks. And we are against the Vikings, the Goths, the Spanish and the Huns. Um, okay well we want to stay away from the Goths, fortunately we are on the other side of the map. And then... I suppose we want to be going against the... Uh, the Spanish and the Vikings, I guess. So yeah, I mean, they can try and take on the, uh, the gate. But it's not going to go very well for them. I suppose then we want to go and apply the pressure. Try and get a raise if we can. No Vikings. Oh, they're actually coming up to my gate as well. That's a bit of a bummer. Back to getting those raisins though. And weirdly, they actually uh Oh, come on now. Oh, they're actually trying to go for the gate instead. Yeah, okay, they uh, did actually get me there. But, I'm still getting actually quite a lot of kills despite that. So, I'm not too worried to be honest. And it has at least distracted them as well from everything else that's been occurring. And yes, please come over here, Vikings. He's getting absolutely wrecked. And next, time to go take on player three here. And back to those raisins then. I don't you even think about taking my raisin. Right, villagers, get those defenses built. Now we can just work on, I suppose, keeping player uh, player one and player three in their base. Hardly lost any of our units in that little skirmish. And we have got the range advantage there. So if they... What's even going on with this path in? Come on lads. Yeah. Pretty sure we got the advantage. Oh, 
Pretty sure we've got the advantage. Pretty sure we're losing the advantage. But we are at 200 kills now at least. And player 6 is up to the castle age. But did player 7 send more troops in? Seems like a mistake to be honest. Now where is player 8 going? Doesn't really appear to be anywhere that player 8 can go that's going to do any damage. Try and send some over here at least. Yeah, they've actually got quite a lot heading in. So let's head over there. And yeah, player rate is lagging. So I do apologise for that. But I don't think there's uh, enough lag that... I should be uh, ending the round, as it were. Get away, get away, villagers. Leave, quickly. <laughs> Good. Okay, get out of there, get out of there. Just gonna probably take on the Goths from there. Yes. Castle Age, get in there, right. Um, definitely need to be getting a arch an archery range. And then from there, we will get a load of stables. Long spawn. I wasn't actually paying any attention to what was going on with my troops over there. Okay, green is still in the feudal age. So I reckon I can go and be a right pain in the bum to player three. And keep them in their base. There we go. Easy kills. Keep them coming, player three. Keep them coming all day long. All day long. Player three resigned. See you later then. Next. Actually. Run away from player one. Get away from player one. Player six is imperial at the same time that player two has got an imperial age. More 
more spies coming in. Who's that? Let's just be player two again. Okay, we need to be getting our knights on the go now. wall and go get ourselves another blacksmith just so that we can then catch up with the uh, research I reckon the best move is going to be to have a little battle with player one. Especially with player four's Harold's there helping out. Player 1's getting wrecked, so I can now keep player 1 in. Player 4 can tussle with player 2. Imperial Age coming in, get in there. Is that before player 1? It is. Get back. Cavalry. Yeah, come on, let's keep pressing on this advantage. We also need to be, yeah, getting more of these knights, as well as upgrading them to paladins. Need to be moving you lot up here as well. And with player one getting up to the next age, that's now a problem. But what we want now is to get our Treb onto their. Uh, Bombard Towers, try and win the uh, the villager race. Come on, Robin Hoods, get up there. 
doesn't matter if we lose a few of our cavalry now. And we want to be moving up here, pressing the pressing up here as well. Get over there. Yep, more villagers, get up here. Getting some rams now as well. To get a couple of rams down here at the back just so they're protected. Since they're only just now getting up to Harold, I reckon now we can go and absolutely wreck them. So, I want to be getting some villagers further up here. Where have you gone, yellow? Nowhere to be seen. Yep, more villagers. Come on, get out of there. Go get some more towers built. Player eight, uh, player seven, even coming in with the uh, with the Rams. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Player one resigned. See you later. There we go. So I've done my job. I got player one wrecked. And now we can all just go and rush player two. Spare me for a moment. Let's see what's going on with player two then. Okay, yeah. Player two is getting wrecked. I should probably actually just move my archers over to the other side so that player seven can get in. Village 
messages. He resigned as well. Okay, so there we go. That was the game. Um, yeah, I think I did my job there pretty well. I, I managed to keep player three and player one under wraps. Um, as soon as I got up to castle age, there was then nothing player two, uh, player three could do from the feudal age, and then player one started making a move, and I managed to block that move off. And then just sort of keep player one stuck in their base, waiting for you know player six, player seven, and player four to do to do their job, and get rid of uh, player two and player eight. There we go. How's the game? I'm I'm quite pleased with how I played there. To be honest, um, I haven't actually said that much in in any of the the games I played recently. Um, there's still improvements that I could could have made. I was a bit slow, um, but sort of the the main the main points of keeping you know player three stuck in their base and feeding off them, and then preventing player one from uh, from being able to advance. Those are kind of the main things. And uh, yeah, if I could have been a bit faster, you know, I could have been able to then start using the. Uh, the paladins more. I was trying to get them all upgraded with the blacksmiths. And I could have been a bit quicker with the towers as well. But overall, fairly happy with my uh, with my performance in that game. But there we go. That's the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.